What we're going to do today is we're actually going to coat both of these coils with a protective coating because we are by the ocean. We don't want these things to deteriorate. So we're going to go through the process of uh, protecting these things right now. We completely removed the condenser fan motors. Just went ahead and cut the wires. I'll put quick connectors. And the first step is we're going to clean the condenser thoroughly with water. And then we're going to use the Viper condenser coil cleaner to get all the oils and grime and stuff off of it. And then we're going to go ahead and dry it with the blower and then apply the coil coating to it. All right, we're going to give it a good rinse. apply the coil coating or coil cleaner we're using the condenser coil cleaner it's completely aluminum and micro channel safe no worries with that let it sit on there for about 10 minutes and we'll give it a rinse Now I'm going to take the air blower and blow all the water off so that way we get a nice clean dry surface. This is a good example of how much water gets stuck in these micro channels.
Okay, coil coating, we're gonna shake it up real good. And apply an even coat inside and out, and we can go ahead and hit the refrigeration piping on the side too. Okay, so I did both of the condensers and I still have probably half a can left. So it did quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna start assembling. Uh, I've already done the other one. It says wait about 30 to 60 minutes. So that's about enough time for me to put the fan motors back in and start assembling the units. All right, this guy's put back together. Um, wires are all have quick connects on them so that way they can be replaced easily. We're gonna turn this bad boy back on. It's been off for about an hour now. Plenty of time for the coil coating to dry. And there's no, uh, it doesn't even look like there's anything there. So it dries clear. It doesn't uh, mess up the heat transfer or anything. So fire this guy back up. I imagine it's gonna turn on and then pump down. Potential fan motor's working. Um, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised because this has an intelligent controller downstairs and it has a separate power source for the evaporator. So it probably aired out. Um, because uh, it ran, you know, without seeing a change in superheat. So we'll probably have to go down there and reset that, but all is well. Protecting the aluminum and copper is so important, especially when you're by the coast. Uh, this particular location was about, I'd say, a mile and a half, maybe two miles at the most from the ocean. So uh, they get just the salt in the air and it just eats everything away. The, the condensing unit that this replaced was completely deteriorated. So these coatings are very, very important. And with a Viper coil coating, it was super easy to use. Just make sure that you wash the coil with a coil cleaner before. If you're doing micro channel, make sure you use a micro channel safe cleaner. If you're not doing a micro channel, you just have a standard copper tube and fin. Uh, you can use the Viper Bright cleaner and that'll get a really good etch on it. Okay. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy with this one. Uh, it was just a quick little video I threw together. I've actually been sitting on this footage for a while, so figured I'd go ahead and release it. I uh, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video, especially if you made it to the end. Uh, please consider supporting the channel by uh, using my uh, offer code big picture, one word at truetechtools.com. It can save you 8% on your order. Uh, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, uh, do me a favor, shoot me an email. I can generate some affiliate links that'll help me a bit more. Uh, also got merch available on hvacrvideos.com, hats and shirts you guys can purchase. Um, other ways to support the channel, if you are so inclined to do so, you can become a patron on Patreon. Uh, you can become a YouTube channel member. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Again, I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.